285, smashing the previous title game record of 97. Up by 17 at half, the Lady Tigers win by 17. Carson, 22. Morris, 21. Ladasia Williams, 20 points. Clark had 30 in a losing effort. Angel Reese, 34 double-doubles. That's an NCAA record. Let's take you live to Dallas, where Jacques Doucet and Perry Robinson have witnessed the loud and proud return of Kim Mulkey to Texas. Guys? Thanks a lot, Steve. LSU's personality throughout the NCAA tournament had been defense and rebounding. Perry, remember a week ago, LSU on their way to the Final Four, but only scored 54 points against Miami. Kim Mulkey joked on the national broadcast that she would turn the game off. But LSU's guards, despite the fact they had shot around 24% throughout the NCAA tournament and 19% or so from, uh, so from three-point range, definitely saved their best for last. As Steve said, 59 points in the first half tonight. Jasmine Carson was unconscious. A couple of those shots felt like they were coming from half court. And obviously it starts with leadership in Kim Mulkey, who is now 4-0 in national championship games. Of course, before this weekend, the LSU women had never won a game in the Final Four. They were 0-5. The LSU men had never won a game at the Final Four in their three trips. But Kim Mulkey says, watch this, 2-0 this weekend as LSU is national champions, and it certainly is a feeling of, you know what, they may just be getting started. With about a minute and 30 to go, I couldn't hold it. Got very emotional. That's really not like me until that final buzzer goes off, but I knew we were going to hold on and win this game. and. I don't know if it's the mere fact that we are doing this in my second year back home. I don't know if it was the fact that I am home. I don't know if it was looking across there at my daughter and my grandchildren. I don't know if it was looking across at Ellis. I don't know what it was, but I lost it. So that should tell you what I think about it. It's hard to explain the feeling. It's kind of like, um, in a way, Coach Mokey's um, an amazing person. She knows how to get the best out of me. She's been knowing me since I was a child, literally. So I, it's, I don't know if I'll ever be able to have the type of relationship with another coach that I have with Coach Mokey because it's, 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 it's special. It's different. I would definitely say this is the game of my life because, I mean, I won a national championship on the biggest stage possible, you know, in college. Um, but when I woke up, I just wanted to win. I wanted to do anything that, you know, my team needed in this game. Thank you, Jazz. Uh, for being a senior and being who you are too. Appreciate you, bro. You know, me and Angel looked at each other after the first three went in and I said, she's here, she's here. And just, you know, just being able to just see that like, you know, her not giving up on herself is the main thing. And, I mean, we gonna keep feeding her no matter what, but you know, everybody had a shooting job, but we knew that if today was gonna be the day, it was gonna be today. Man, I, I feel amazing. Like, this is how I wanted to end my freshman year. This is how I wanted my seniors to end their college career. It feel amazing, man. It was amazing. We all are a national champion. Uh, not just our, our staff, our team, our program, but the whole community of Baton Rouge. LSU is such a special environment. And Kim is always talking about when we play, we don't just play for ourselves, we play for our community. So I'm happy for everybody. All right, it's the beauty of sports. It's the beauty of the NCAA tournament. Remember, we were in Columbia, South Carolina on Super Bowl Sunday when South Carolina drilled LSU. And Kim Mulkey says that South Carolina and everyone else, well, guess what? Kind of like Buster Douglas taking out Mike Tyson, Iowa beat South Carolina, and LSU is the national champion. And Perry, LSU was ranked in the top five all year long, but I didn't hear many people saying they'd win the national title. And here we are. Exactly. And, you know, you could just feel the emotion motion from the fans once that reality set in about wow we are really national champs and kind of like what you said earlier a lot of people did not expect for this to happen but best believe they made a lot of people believers today I mean you could just feel the energy and the excitement just after the confetti dropped when the net started to get cut and when people started to interact with each other and then they realized like okay wow we are actually champions at this point I told y'all we was gonna bring it to the boo! We 
bringing it back, baby. We bringing it back. Man, never thought it would happen this year. Knew it was going to happen, but not the second year. Grew up my whole life in LSU women's basketball fan and to watch us win this game, and it's a dream come true for me. Just like she said about the schedule, everybody gave her a hard time about it. Hey, that schedule didn't mean anything. They proved it today in that final 64, and they proved it in winning the championship over the number one player in the nation. Like Kim said, we're going to drink, we're going to party, and most definitely we're going to talk some noise. So that is what it's going to be. Caitlin who? It's Angel Reese. That's who you ought to be talking about right there. Woo! Loved it. Go, go Tigers. They played their asses off. So proud of them. Next level. Kim Mulkey being there, Bob Starkey, just so proud of those girls. I've been an LSU fan all my life, and this is actually the first time in person I've seen an LSU championship, and it's just been an honor. Kim Mulkey, LSU, are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Shock the world. Let's go LSU, put the mails up. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers, you better believe it. Well, Jock, as the kids like to say, it's a parade in my city. So starting <laughs> tomorrow, of course, 1230 outside the PMAC, that's when the real party will start. And I guarantee you, it might be one of the biggest crowds that I think this city will ever see. What a cool group of young ladies, right? Flage Johnson, without a doubt, perhaps the coolest girl in America, Without right? a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, a star rapper, a true freshman, steps out there and does what she does. Angel Reese lining up the NIL deals left and right and paying attention to everyone on Twitter who says things about her. And then even girls like Emily Ward, the former walk-on, uh, uh, Izzy Bezelman, the walk-on from Episcopal. You just go on down the line. Last year, Poa coming all the way here from Australia. Just a real likable group of young ladies, and they delivered here on the big stage this evening. We got a lot more coming up, Steve. We throw it back to you in Baton Rouge. Great stuff, guys, on a day where it's LSU and everybody else. We'll have two more live segments coming up from Dallas. For now, we'll send it back to Lester. All right, Steve, thank you. Well, back here at home, it was absolute chaos inside the PMAC, where a lot of Tiger fans gather to watch the big game. Our Miranda Thomas is here and continues our team coverage. Miranda. Yeah, Lester, so many people were cheering on our Lady Tigers. The PMAC was packed with raging fans excited for this team to bring home that trophy. Once I walked in, it felt like we were at the game. These LSU Tiger fans could not make it to the championship game, but caught all the action live on the Jumbotron inside the PMAC. What they go say now? What they go say now? You got to respect it. LSU SGA president TJ Polk spent his time hyping up the crowd. Uh, from the moment I got here, I knew that I just wanted to create such a vibe here since we couldn't be there. Carl Dunn is another one, keeping up the excitement. The energy was so intense inside the building, it had everyone on their toes. They, they, got, a little, they got a little hair in the third quarter, but I think, I think, I think the plan is coming together. There is no doubt about it. LSU has one of the most supportive fan bases in the entire country. Go LSU Tigers, you're the best, baby. And when the game had finally ended, fans in the PMAC went ballistic. <laughs> they've all been waiting for as they follow these athletes all season long and for Polk it's a full circle moment. I came here 2019 my freshman year and we saw the national championship for football so to see it again in 2023 is crazy. There is no denying the talent is there and with Kim Mulkey at the helm these fans are ready to win another championship next season. Bulky Mania, baby, Bulky Mania. First ever, but that can last. Go Tigers! And the celebrations are far from over, right, Lester? Miranda, that is right. Tomorrow you'll get a chance to welcome back our national champion winning LSU women's basketball team. Officials with LSU Athletics are urging fans to meet the Tigers on campus for a huge celebration, which will start at 1230 p.m. inside the PMAC.
And take a look here. The state capitol is lit up in purple and gold. Such a cool sight to see after such an historic win. And be on the lookout for some LSU billboards popping up around town. Take a look. They read LSU. Yeah, that LSU. And reaction is pouring in on Twitter. Even the Big Apple is congratulating the Tigers by turning the lights on the Empire State Building purple and gold. Then back here in Louisiana, Governor John Bell Edwards also congratulated the Lady Tigers by saying you made the state so proud. Go Tigers. He also won a bet against Iowa's Governor Kim Reynolds and will receive some Iowa pork from her office. And East Baton Rouge Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom also took to social media saying, quote, bouncing in the bayou, a team of talented and young women. You did it. So our coverage is just beginning tonight on the Tigers historic win, but you can follow along anytime on our nine news app. Go Tigers. All right, let's take a breather and get you.